So today we're gonna to be talking about what to do when slash if the second wave of COVID-19 hits the United States and, the, and we end up shutting down the government or shutting down again, what we need to do to prepare for that financially, especially if we're in one of those industries where it's really, really hard hit. Hi friends, welcome to Moms and Money, where we talk about managing money, making money, and saving money for the women in the household. If this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia and I love all things personal finance related. I want us to just achieve our financial goals, achieve financial independence, and that's what we talk about over here. So if you like this type of content, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, cut your notifications on, and become a part of my YouTube family. So, I mean, you've seen it all over the news, different headlines about the second wave of COVID-19. We really don't know anything uh, you know we don't know if it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen you know I'm not here to discuss whether or not it's gonna happen I'm not here to discuss anything political I'm here to really talk about financially what we need to do to prepare for that I mean honestly if I can go back to my January 2020 self I would tell myself to buckle up and get ready for this ride that has been 2020 it has been crazy i know it has and if anything i'm just thankful that we're able to make it to october 2020 it's a blessing for us to be able to make it and say that we overcame this the whole world has been affected by this and it's almost like we're coming through this together and it's important that we support one another that we are there for one another as an entire world and to really just share any knowledge that we have with each other so really this is why i want to make this video just in case that second wave does hit because that's what they're predicting before the end of 2020, that the second wave of, of COVID-19 is gonna hit really, really hard and that a lot of industry, industries are going to be affected by this. We still haven't seen the full effect of how COVID-19 has affected different industries yet from the first time the whole country shut down um, and we have yet to see that. So don't think just because you're not in one of those industries that has been heavy hit and affected by this, that you or your company won't be affected by this. Now I'm not wishing that or hoping that for anyone watching this I, I pray that we all prosper um, and move forward you know but to be honest with you I'm thankful that my family and I we have our health we're able to pay our bills we have food to eat and a shelter and a home to live in so if you're in a situation where you're like that too count your blessings because it is a blessing I want to talk about the industries that were hit pretty hard with the first round of the government shutdown or the country shutdown because of COVID-19 and again just because you don't work in one of these industries doesn't mean that you won't be affected but these industries in particular had massive layoffs I mean people were just collecting unemployment and you know of course the stimulus checks helped but I mean these are the industries that were really heavy hit now I got this information off of spglobal.com and according to them the industries that were hardest hit were travel and hospitality obviously that was absolutely shut down when the first wave of COVID-19 really hit and started spiking people who worked in the restaurant industry and in hotels um, any kind of hospitality event planning anything like that their businesses were completely shut down and that affects so many people so if you're in that industry um, and a second wave of COVID-19 hits definitely 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 take these precautions into consideration other industries were obviously the airline industry because you know obviously that's attached to travel whether that be working traveling or leisure travel uh, airlines the airline industry was hit pretty pretty hard now uh, the government did give huge huge amounts of money to a lot of the airline industries now what they did with that money I don't know girl but you know uh, they were almost bailed out uh, from completely going into bankruptcy so uh, the airline industry was heavy hit because I know a lot of layoffs were taking place because of COVID-19 the other industries were leisure facilities that includes like gyms and country clubs stuff like that uh, that was hit tremendously especially the gyms I mean they had to be shut down altogether I mean a lot of people still aren't going to the gym so they're still feeling the effects of it I mean especially if a second wave comes it's gonna be shut down again as well and the 
other industry were auto, auto parts and, and cars and stuff like that because a lot of the shops were shut down. I know a lot of um, manufacturing facilities were shut down because a lot of people work kind of closely together, especially in those auto shops and stuff like that. And so they were in manufacturing companies where you actually work in like a warehouse sort of situation or like I said, uh, manufacturing something. So those industries were hit pretty hard too because a lot like they had to shut down and if if one person gets sick then likely they spread it to everybody in the in the whole shop so that industry was hit hard and the last industry according to them were was oil slash gas drilling people weren't driving <laughs> you know people were not driving the demand for for oil just was not there if you noticed gas prices plummeted during the time that um the, the country was shut down because nobody was driving everybody had to work from home at that at that time so that definitely was affected so if you work and it doesn't matter if you are a receptionist or if you are a vice president it doesn't matter you are affected by this COVID-19 I mean people in these industries especially their hours got cut they were furloughed they were laid off I mean just it's it's really sad so this is why I wanted to talk to you guys about what to do to, pre to prepare if slash when the second wave of COVID-19 hits. Number one, stop any extra payments towards debt. Any kind of extra payments that you're doing right now, just put it at a halt. Now, I'm not telling you to stop paying your bills altogether. No, you never wanna do that. You wanna pay the bill that comes into your house, like what whatever the minimum payment is. But if you were making any kind of um, extra payments, if you had like a debt repayment plan that was very um, extensive and aggressive pull back on that because at this point you want to hold on to any extra cash that you may have because you just don't know if you're going to need it or not now more than ever you've got to have an emergency fund if you don't have an emergency fund you need to be putting that extra money that you are paying towards your debt immediately in an emergency fund and i don't even care if you have that thousand dollar nest egg that dave ramsey of course in his baby steps always says to have a thousand dollars first and then start paying extra and putting all your extra money towards debt at this point if you work especially in one of those industries or if you know that your job is going to be affected if a second wave comes stop any extra payment and start putting all of that money into your emergency fund regardless if you have that thousand dollars there or not especially if you have a family you just don't know what you're going to need. You wanna make sure that you have enough money put away to pay for a shelter, for home over your head, and to pay for food to feed yourself and your family. Those are the two most important things. And transportation as well. You gotta have a car to get around in case you need, do need to go somewhere. So you definitely want to make sure that any extra money is being put into your nest egg. You don't wanna you know, pay any extra money towards debt or anything else right now. Okay, the second thing, to do is you want to tighten the grip on your budget. Now is the time to skim off any excess spending, any excess fat you have on your budget. You want to cut that down. If you don't have a budget, you need to create a budget. Stop watching this video right now. Click this I right here to watch this playlist to get started for budgeting for beginners. You can download my free zero based budget in the description box to create your budget in Excel, or you could purchase some of my, some of my printables. Um, if you're a pen and paper type of person, but you have to have a budget and it's gotta be like tight. I mean, you're like, you're running a tight ship. Okay, every single cent that comes into your um, account has to be accounted for and it has to have a job. Anything extra goes into that emergency, emergency fund and your emergency cash reserves right now. So you wanna definitely tighten up your budget, any excess spending you wanna tighten, pull back on. You don't wanna spend anything extra that you need to. You wanna spend just enough to feed yourself and your family and to have a home over your head and to keep your car running that is it okay it's not the time to splurge on anything no clothes no nothing nothing's the time it's only what you need that's it you will have time eventually to get back into your normal spending habits and to you know splurge at times when you plan for it but right now you want to plan and prepare for an emergency god forbid if something happens and you have to pay your mortgage or your rent and you don't have that income coming in you have that cash reserves there to help supplement that's what it's for so definitely get your budget in check 
come face reality a lot of times people get insecure and they don't want to they don't have the courage to actually look at a budget and and figure it out see what's working and see what what's not working but i encourage you to try at least try watch some of my videos there's lots of videos on youtube now about budgeting to find a style that you like i personally like a zero based budget myself but now is the time to definitely tighten up on your budget and the third thing i want to talk about is maybe start possibly thinking about starting a side hustle there are lots of videos online about side hustles i've made videos tons of videos about high paying work from home jobs or creating a side hustle there are many people who started a side a side hustle because they had to when the um, country shut down for the first time back in march because of covid 19 and now have a really successful business because of that have a really great extra stream of income coming in because they decided to start a side hustle so i encourage you to try to think creatively of having an extra streams of income because i'm telling you at times like this where you don't know if your nine to five is secure um, you can't you don't know if your hours are going to be cut or if your salary is going to be reduced or if you're going to get furloughed or anything like that that extra stream of income comes in handy it comes in handy at any point in your life really i'll have linked in the description box my personal favorite side hustles how to get started on them I actually made a whole, lots of videos about side hustles too you can tap this eye right here to watch them but i encourage you to at least try to get started on a, some sort of side hustle uh, during this time especially if you have some extra downtime um, instead of scrolling on instagram girl or just watching uh, netflix and chilling <laughs> you want to utilize that time and start watching content that will educate yourself you can literally google anything and learn how to do anything because of this right here our phones okay so encourage yourself that there's something that interests you that you wanted to learn how to do well youtube it girl you there's a video on youtube for everything okay so i encourage you to step out educate yourself have that confidence to know that you can do it god put you on this earth with a talent we are all talented in different ways and i um, encourage you to try to monetize that so leave a comment down below and let me know were you affected was your job affected by covid 19 at all do you think you'll be affected if you have a second wave and what are some of your plans thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.